Hi, this is the Real Beal Travel Channel. I'm Diana. There's Jerry trying to cook his lunch. And I am in front of our Whitewater Riverside Retro. We have the 155 and ours was built in 2014. I think we're the second owner. We have owned it since 2021. It's 2023. And I thought I would show you all of the updates and changes that Jerry has done inside and how we have it set up today like a time capsule. We are currently at Bridgeport State Park in Bridgeport, Washington State. First the door, Jerry cut this, the Reflectix, to cover the window because we were getting a lot of sunlight when we were trying to sleep in the morning. The sun comes up early in the summer and so he covered it with Reflectix. I have bought a sticker for every campsite we've camped at and there is our floor mount which is a gift from my sister. All right, this is with the dinette down. This is where Jerry sleeps because the bed in the Whitewater Riverside Retro is very small in the 155. And so this gives him his own space. It's with the dinette down. These are the curtains that came with it. The previous owner had also installed this little shelf and there's one over the other side of the bed. One of the only issues in this trailer is that the hot water when you're taking a shower, you try to mix it with the cold and you get hot or cold. You can't get warm water. Did you so that? Jerry put in a thermometer that's on the side of the tank and we can tell what temperature the water is and then we just turn the hot water heater off when we get it to the temperature we want, a nice warm temperature, and you take a shower in here. So this is the invention Jerry did that I wanted to show you. He already owned this rack. So he installed this and it makes it so that he has a dresser. All of his clothes go in here. This whole rack swings out so he can get in and out of it whenever he wants to and he has all of his clothes put away. We took the door off of the bathroom. Gives you a little more room trying to get in and out to use the toilet or the shower and put in this small sized RV shower curtain. And then he made this rack also, which holds our, ends up being a, a hat rack a lot, but it holds our jackets too. I get in the bathroom, this one snaps, swings out. And this is the bathroom. It's pretty much the same as the day we came in. There's two changes. Jerry changed the faucet to this really vegetable sprayer, but that means we can turn the water on and off while we're using it to save hot water. This goes on the shower curtain and you can put all of your different items in it while you're showering and get some up off the floor. I was having trouble. I didn't, I couldn't hold it all in my lap while I was taking a shower, but now everything has a home. And since we took down the closet door that gave us an actual little wall space. And so we got baskets for the wall. These are all my toiletries, Jerry's toiletries and our garbage. We just use the little bags that the produce comes in. Jerry installed this shelf too. Right now it's got his electronics on it. We have a air conditioner, but when it's not in use, that's where I put my mirror. And then when I'm done, I can just go right here out of the way. This is the little basket of things I'm charging in my medicine. I take this in and out with me all day. This was from my sister-in-law, Leilani. And then this little shelf, which we didn't really have a plan for, ends up being the perfect place for my caboodle. Jerry installed that shelf too. Those shelves are all aftermarket. And I put a multi-plug here so that I can charge things. I also plug in my electric blanket. <laughs> all right, there's the other shelf the previous owner installed. And then Jerry made this so that I have a headboard when I'm sleeping at night, I'm not just leaned up against the cold window or the hot window. I also I have a headboard. This is the controls for my electric blanket. So that during the night I don't have to run the heat if I'm cold. And sometimes, like right now, we're camping in September. So it'll be cold enough that I need the electric blanket for the first hour or so at night. And then it'll be warm enough that during the day that sometimes we run the AC. It'll get down in the 50s at night and up in the 80s during the daytime. Here's the bed. Now, usually I have three pillows, so it's a complete day bed, but I'm short one today. But that's my bed situation. And Jerry made this shelf. Look at how interesting. All the stuff he 
you had to do to put that in. Oh boy. So there's my coloring books. This is my electronics and my medication. This is our Dometic fridge. It's two ways, so you can run it on gas or electric. We found that sometimes it's hard to get it cold. You've got to give it at least, we usually give it 24 hours, at least 12 hours before we travel for it to get down to temp. And then sometime we travel with the gas on to keep it cold, like when it's really hot out. We broke that and we have a little problem keeping the door shut sometimes. Jerry made this out of a clothespin. It goes right there. And when we're traveling, make sure the door stays closed. Now this is the kitchen. We have a full kitchen set up outside. And so this is only really a rainy day kitchen. And we haven't had enough rainy days to use it at all. So I think we've only cooked in the kitchen one time. So this came with the microwave here and we took it out. So Jerry made two doors to match. These are TV trays. <laughs> it's hard to get lumber. And these are our knobs, our new knobs. He put in the pistons here. That, so they stand up. These are my clothes. I use packing cubes for traveling by air and for traveling in the trailer. There's my jacket. And here are my remotes. So I can have a little candlelight. The previous owner installed a paper towel holder, but it was a casualty. You don't have it anymore. I've labeled all of these because I kept hitting the wrong buttons. So the, are, the buttons are all labeled now. This is the sink. Now Vicki, my friend, got me this happy camper towel. These dry hard and they're soft when you used them. I just used it. I love that. It's the only towel I use now. So if you get a chance to get one of these and they're like nine dollars in the gift shop and like two dollars online love it and there's my favorite mug i have my hot cereal in it every day that was from justine and it says good vibes my sister-in-law gave me this mat and we set i set dishes here that are drying i also set things on it that are headed out of the camper or into the camper and these are those tv trays again so that's cooking air if you need to use it and jerry built it cooking area if we need to cook indoors and then he built this which is really his nightstand at night right it's a great place to put everything i use the trailer bathroom at night so i don't need to get out so it's fine to have this up and this covers up the stove because we still have the stove in here There's the stuff, which is really dirty. <laughs> we don't use this at all. And there is the stove. I have found that I really like to use the sink, and so this is usually the configuration we're in because I need access to the sink all day. Can't more worry less. My sister in law. Okay, jump drawer. Oh, yeah, this. So this is a volt meter, so he can tell how much power we have left in our battery. But it goes in the drawer, so it doesn't keep us up with the blue light during the night. And then this is all my outside stuff, so it's got my, um, <clears throat> my thermosel. And then down here is the few kitchen items I have. Washcloths, um, cups, soap, and then the bottom is, I consider it kind of the office, it's got a shelf we haven't put in yet, and an accordion file. I had the accordion file at home and I switched it out to use in here because it can hold all of the different manuals, so you don't have to dig through the pile every time, you just flip to the one you want and you're ready to go. Hi honey. Project. That's the Dollar Tree trailer painted to match our trailer. When we first got it, you spent a couple weeks sealing. Oh, probably a week. Okay. So sealing up all the joints. Would you seal it with? Quad sealant. What do you hate? Silicone. Why is that? Because nothing sticks to silicone. Ah, including. So when you silicone it with silicone, it just falls you off. have to use silicone again. You got to clean off the old stuff, and it's not really. 
um, it doesn't hold up to UV very well. Oh. So it's more for like bathrooms. So can you show me what you did here? Yeah, well, all of this, I, I, I sealed every joint. So I went over every joint and they were, some of them were bad. Like there, there, was, there was a water leak on this side, a big gap here. But every joint, I cleaned everything out and resealed it with the quad. So this is still silicone that hasn't broken down yet. So at some point I'll have to take that out and try to clean it. As a... And then on, oh, the, the on the roof, on the roof what happened? I didn't have to reseal it because it had self-leveling compound on it from about here up. I used, so it's a roof sealant tape and it's a patch repair tape. And I did the, every seam on the roof is covered by it. Everbond? I think it's Everbond is the name of it. Anyway, it's super, sticky seems to be holding up really well to the to the sun um but it's a pain to put on because i was gonna it, say how is it to work with it's terrible and i've worked with a lot of different tapes and adhesives and everything because i i work in the uh, aerospace industry building airplanes and that stuff is gnarly to work with because you only get one chance yeah it lays down it's on it's on that's it it's Seems to have sealed it up pretty good. We haven't had any leaks, although it wasn't leaking to begin with, but yeah. that was something I thought would be better than resealing every year or whatever. So, so far it's held up. I had to redo the drain line from the gray water. It was mm -hmm. from the factory, it's pretty hokey. And then I insulated, pipe wrapped the, oh, the water I lines because the water lines run underneath them from the, the pump or the city water forward to the hot water heater and they actually go outside the cabin. And then there's your low water drains. I insulated those. We placed the battery cables. Uh, they had like, I don't know if that was stock, but they were poorly crimped and undersized and just garbage wire. And so I replaced those this summer, I did that. Nothing special with the battery, it's still a deep cycle lead acid. At some point we'll go with lithium, but that's a different project. So this thing here is a jack e up and we were running into an issue that this trailer is fairly low. This is mm -hmm. the jack e up. Okay. And we went with that because the trailer is it's low. It's a low sitting trailer. Yeah. Um, it has a three and a half inch lift, I think, on it, but even with that, the tongue still is fairly low. And I had to get a drop hitch um, oh, yeah. just so that it sits level when it's towed. And when we would go in a dip, like off of a, a driveway onto the road from a gas station or whatever, it, sometimes it would hit. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the jack foot would hit. And uh, I didn't want to have that bent. This allows you to remove this whole assembly. So once this is hooked up to the hitch, it takes all the weight off of the foot, obviously. And this will drop down and you can spin it and pull this whole thing out. And you've got a clevis pin for the foot. So you just pull the foot off and this whole assembly comes out and you're just left with this metal donut sitting on top. And so it, there's no foot to drag anymore. Nice. Um, and we we haven't hit anything, right? Uh, I mean, Work. we've eliminated the potential of bending the foot, or probably more than anything, it would bend this mounting metal. I don't know. I don't know what's going to go first. <laughs> I didn't want to find out. Now the problem I had is I needed this space for this metal donut to fit on <coughs> the mounting for the. Where the hitch goes it takes its place the, the tank mount was in the way and so i had to relocate this i don't know that this is going to be permanent although it seems to be very stout so this is a piece of treated two by six <clears throat> that's picked up the original mounting holes for this and moved it out of the way back i might go with a dual tank i don't know but the dual tank I don't know if it'll go around this, so we haven't got there yet. No. Nope. We don't need dual tanks. We don't end up using that much propane. I can go a long time on a 20 pound tank, so. Didn't we just, we just had a situation where we needed to use two tanks at the same time, but we have the little. Yeah, one. I got the green one pounders. Yeah. For backup. 
right now that'll have to do it for this year because we're almost done with yep. camping season. So, mm -hmm. but that's that's the outside. It's the outside.